single female, 24, seeks sensitive, emotionally secure man. Okay, so far I'm in. Like sunsets on the beach, cozy nights before the fire, candlelit dinner for two. What, no balloons in the park? Hey, I thought you were gonna give us a hand with the transmission. Oh, pardon me for having a life. Who delivered the case of fluid? <laughs> Lousy family paper. You know, you get more exciting personals in a convent newsletter. Frankie, you shop for women like you shop for tires. You gotta sift, Joe. Sift? Exactly. Separate the chaff, as it were, from the wheat. Hey, listen, why don't I find a couple of likely prospects and you and I, you know, no, we can... No, 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 I don't think so. Yeah, well, a female thing can get complicated. And maybe you're better off with a pet, you know, for companionship. I don't want a pet. You mean you never pine for the simple love of a dumb animal? <laughs> Thought we had that one covered. <laughs> hey, my friend at the pound can get anything. Fur is his world. I'm heading now. If rain gets any worse, I can swap the cuda for an arc. Do me a favor, leave that paper. I could use some word from the outside. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Ciao, boys. Yeah. Oh, I should be going myself. Joe, this big place ever get, I don't know, spooky when you're here alone on a night like this? No. Actually, I... I don't like it. City's dark and the night is young. We're gonna play a request, or should I say, the request. The ladies call it in every night for the last week. The song is Where or When and is dedicated to Michael. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thanks. After tomorrow, a time when criminals rule the city. The only weapon that can stop them needs a driver. A man without a memory can be supplied with one. I've got a little cosmetic fine tuning. He'll be our driver. Let's initiate changeover. Three, two, one, activate. The most wanted man on wheels is about to change sides. Now, against a corrupt system, a lone fight for justice. Viper is taking back the streets.
Just a second. Bus always late. I was watching you practice. You look pretty sharp in there. It, 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 it took that one guy down. He must have been what? A foot taller than you. Bet you top of the class. All right. A man wins a cigar. Bus coming. What was that? Hey, what are you doing? Forgot your first lesson, kid. Never let your guard down. He disappeared night before last. No ransom demands, no contact at all. We've traced 30 similar incidents going back a decade, not including missing street kids who may be a part of the pattern. That's if there is a pattern. Well, I don't mean to sound heartless, Delia. Kids run away all the time, unhappy at home, abused. Or snatched by divorced parents. I mean, it's a sad thing, but I'm not sure how Joe and I could help. These are abductions with specific purpose. This child disappeared 10 years ago. His parents never found him. Last October, on the news, they saw an aide to a senator. Now, the aide was about the same age their son would be now, with a similar birthmark. Oh, the couple tried to contact the aide, who seemed to deliberately elude them. They came to us. We did a computer aging on the boy's photo. Once we began investigating, all other cases came out. Vanished at 10, dead at 20, found in an alley, an assassin. Kidnapped from school, arrested seven years later in a weapons hijacking. Presumed drowned, later a junior partner in a law firm, indicted for jury tampering, and all outfit connected. Sounds like a finishing school for killers and thieves. Do we know who's behind it? Well, we believe it's Frederick Lang, a former outfit hitman who went independent and underground. This is one of Lang's recruiters, Ray Bolo. Now, the last victim's karate teacher saw a man sitting on a bus bench just outside the school. The description fits. Pulled off the street, robbed of your own life, forced into another. I can relate. Imagine that happening to a child. Okay, Delia. We're in. Single female, non-smoker, non-drinker, non-gambler. Boy, she sounds like a real riot. Seek same. Yeah, good luck. Must be grazing in the nun column here. All chaff and no wheat, huh? Jeez, will you warn me when you come by? Joe, our relationship has to remain discreet. Relax, Frankie. No one saw me. They're all at lunch. I need a favor. Roll a line on a guy named Ray Bolo. Tap into your legendary pipeline. Grease a few street informers. Will I get reimbursed? Sure. Just get on it right away, will you? I live to serve. Call me when you find some on Bolo. Oh, Joe, about the pet issue. Oh, it's an issue now? Personally, I despise felines, but I beg you as a... A cat kind of guy, am I right? Frank, better yet. Remember in the back of the comic books, Monkey in a Teacup? I'll pass. My cousin had one. It bit off his index finger right down to the first knuckle. <laughs> and get this, the monkey liked it. It kept following him around like uh, uh, Captain Hook and an alligator sort of thing. I don't get it. You're right. It's a perfect match. You gonna call her? I already did. And? I hung up. Who is she, Julian? Could be just a casual thing of Peyton's. No, no. They each kept part of the photo. She had to be important to him. I just don't know if it's smart to open this thing up right now. If you're not sure, don't do it. Joe, I'm faxing a list of hangouts on this Bolo character. Thanks. I had to spread around a few simoleons. I believe reimbursement was discussed. Yeah, send me a bill. Count on it. It's the principle of the thing. Oh, I had a brainstorm. What about a ferret? A ferret? Yeah, it's like a weasel, but with a better attitude. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they got a cute little face. Going, Joe. Okay. I've been tracking for about the last hour. It just seems to be making those rounds. Getting contacts, maybe collecting tips on likely targets. Figure if I stick with them long enough, it'll lead us to Lang. Damn it. What's wrong? I think I lost. I don't believe I sold you the movie rights, Scarecrow. May I see that camera? Please. Get out of the car before I mess up that nice upholstery of yours. Come on. You a cop? I might be. What's it to you? You might be. Well, let's just take a walk and see if we can make up your mind. Come on. Local or federal? Maybe you're just a member of a camera club, is that it? Well, you picked the wrong subject, my friend. I think a straight answer from you is gonna require motivation. Start with the knees. Sure there's nothing you'd like to tell me? Yeah, your uh, coat's on fire. Yeah, I, I, I have the other half. Michael? Is that really you? Yes and no. It sounds like your voice. A lot's happened since the last time I saw you. Can you meet me tonight? Where? Belladon on Long Street, 11 o'clock. Okay. Uh, wait, uh... Thank you. We generally do not take requests before a very special lady. We just couldn't refuse. We'd like to do the beautiful tune where 
Au revoir. It seemed we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same old way. But I can't remember Excuse me. Would you do me a favor and find out who requested this song? I did. It's you then. I must have gone by your table a dozen times. I thought if the song didn't work, I'd have to spill a drink on your lap. But I can't remember. You do look different. But you are Michael, aren't you? Yes. Oh, something happened. And I have a problem remembering things and people. I'm sorry. Um, I was supposed to be off an hour ago, but one of the girls had to go home early. Can you wait? Sure. Uh, wait, um, uh, what was your name? <sighs> Square one, huh? Claire. My name is Claire. about placing that ad for a long time since the day I moved to the city. I remembered you said you came here a lot on business. You never really told me what your line of work was, but I suspected it was something dangerous and probably on the far side of the law. Not anymore. It's sort of the opposite. You're a policeman? Mm, more like a... Uh... A night watchman. So, a new life, even a new name. This was a really bad idea. I, uh, trying to find you after all this time, I just, Wait, I just should have let it go. Why do you say that? Because I, I really hoped that you'd finally tell me what happened. Why? I woke up one morning and you were just gone. I can't. I don't remember. I'd like to. It was important enough for Peyton to keep your photograph. <laughs> Peyton wouldn't have you. You keep talking about Michael like he's another person, like he's dead or something. He is, in a way. I keep trying to piece him together, but... So I'll have to figure out where I'm going before I can see where I've been. That's why I called you, Claire. I have a lot of questions. Ask me then. Um, where was the photograph taken? Mexico. Um, I'd gone down there from New York. I was on the run from a relationship that had gone to hell, and I guess you were just on the run. If you thought I was a criminal, well, why'd you get involved? I'm attracted to the type. It's a problem I have. But you were different. How do you mean? There was this old jukebox in the hotel bar, and you heard the song, and you just kept playing it over and over. You said it was about fate. How if two people were really meant to be together, that they would be, no matter what. 
Do you still feel that way? I don't know. I'd like to. But I don't know. You told me this belonged to your grandmother. Probably just stole it. No, 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 there's um, a name inside. Olivia Payton. I think you should have it back. No, you keep it. I mean, we obviously meant something to each other. <laughs> meant something? My God, you don't understand, do you? I was, I still am your wife. You had disarmed him, he was alone, you had every advantage, correct? Yes, Mr. Lang. Did you identify him, was he a cop? No, he, uh, I mean, I don't know. The next time you're being followed, inform me. I'll send somebody to take care of it. Mr. Lang, I would have kept the scarecrow myself if it hadn't known. Your job is to jump into the lake like a spaniel and fetch back what I tell you. That's all. Now think, Bolo. I know it's a stretch, but think hard. Describe tall, brown hair, had a sharp car, red, some flying gizmo, a camera, something. Is that him? Yeah. How did you know? The authorities have been snooping around our operation for weeks. Who told Joe Astor to get in on a crusade? Astor. I'll remember the name. You'll stay away from it. The punk needs payback. Nobody cuts me and walks away. Last guy who tried to put him in a box. I'll be damned if I'll let that two bit. Each of us here has a function, Bolo. An orbit. A proper dependable course, precisely regulated by me. Now, do we know how the asteroids were formed? <laughs> One planet straight into the path of another and it was destroyed. You see my point? Yes, sir. Anything else? Another couple kids are ready to come down from the nursery. One's weapon strain can level a building like a pro. The other's the hacker. Give him a handful of wire, he'll slap together anything from a trigger switch to a motherboard. Good. We have some anxious clients ready for their services. Ah, I went through every scrap of paper, every frame on the data disk, and aside from the torn photo, there's nothing on Claire or any sign that we were ever married. And all you have is this and her word. So that song she played seemed to shake something inside me when I heard it. She seemed to know something about me. About you or about Michael Payton? Oh, look, just because I can't remember my past doesn't mean I'm not responsible for it. If Claire really is my wife. I... Then you believe her? I don't know. I don't know. It's just when I was with her, I don't know, it was more than an attraction. You know, it felt right. Sounds like you want to believe her. You should have been a lawyer, Julian. If I were, I'd sue you for aggravation. All right, now look, since Bolo's on to you, We've got to change the plan if we're going to snag Frederick Lang. Now, we'll let Frankie keep running up a tab with his street contacts, but we'll move in with the Viper only if we have solid cause. Okay. You're going to try to find her, aren't you? Uh, do me a favor. Have Frankie dig into the Civil Records mainframe for a marriage license. Michael Payton and Claire Malloy. All right. Uh, which reminds me, there's a fax from Frankie. I have two words for you, Jack Russell. Who the hell's Jack Russell? It's a breed of terrier. Swell. Frankie, I got a job for you. Actually, make that two jobs. What do you mean she's gone? Well, Claire left word this morning that she wouldn't be back. She didn't say why. I need to talk to her, and she hasn't returned my calls. Do you have an address? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't hand that out. Recognize this? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're the boyfriend. Uh, well, we used to be married, but uh, she gave it back last night and walked out. Mm, 
Claire Malloy. Malloy. Yeah, she lives down on Ravenscroft, number 1201. Thanks. Pour yourself a drink on me. Oh, no, that's okay. I don't drink. Besides a ring like that, you must have loved her a lot. Turn around, slow. Michael, you really scared me. Same here. Shouldn't have a gun in the house. And you shouldn't walk in here like you own the place. I rang the bell. Guess you couldn't hear me when the music was so loud. Why'd you quit your job? Well, uh, I kind of needed a day off. And the boss said, fine, why don't we spend it at his place? So I threw an ice bucket his way, and that was that. You look... Are you going out? Yeah. But if I'd known you were coming, I, uh... The door was locked. How did you get in? Ah. Any other bad habits left over from your outlaw days? Maybe. is an artist and her show's opening tonight. She's on her way to pick me up. Why don't you come too? I don't think so. We're driving out to Little Fawn Lake, but I'll be back tonight. I'll call you. If you don't, I'll have to come looking for you. Julian? Followed him to a house on Ravenscroft, okay? It must be the girls. And may I add a footnote? If Joe finds out I failed him, I fear for my carefully pressed wardrobe. Look, something about the situation makes me uneasy. We're just watching his back. How long has he been in there? Long enough to make it interesting for him and a real snore for me. All the phonies coming out. Okay, he just took off. Alone. Now, do I have to keep on him? I miss lunch, you know. Just stay with him, Frankie. Okay, okay, but can I tell you something? I feel like such a voyeur. Wait, hang on. What is it? Oh, Betty, will you poke out my eyes? The blood just thickened, Julian. 
Big time. <laughs> Frankie. Wh Frankie? There is no record of marriage for Peyton or this Claire Malloy, but if it was a south of the border deal, yeah, I can... not much to go on. There is one woman, born in New York, same name, approximate age, known to have been in Mexico five, six years back. She disappeared. Yeah, until a couple months ago when she showed up here. What about the house? According to the deed, it's owned by a Kevin Larrabee. I'm still waiting on the license plate search on that sedan. You know, if you'd gotten a good look at that guy in the car with her... Hey! I tried to tag him, but they got a couple of blocks ahead. I mean, I lost them at the ferry well, Why docks. didn't you chase him down, Frankie? Oh, my Steve McQueen now? Uh-oh. I'd better handle this. Fine. And may I remind you that following him was your idea. What? What is it? By the way, I can handle my own business. You both know that. Look, this whole deal with Claire is, I don't know what it's to say. What? Tell me. I wasn't sure you were thinking clearly, that's all. I can see it's a very emotional issue for you. Well, you can't see the half of it, because you're not living All right, it. all right, I'm sorry, OK? Me too, Joe. My apologies. Yeah. Besides, that information you dug up on her, there's nothing in there that goes against anything she already told me. Joe, um. Where is Claire right now? She's out at Little Fawn Lake with a girlfriend. Why? Boy, is he a naive buck. What? Come on, it's like pulling teeth around here. Out with it, Frankie. After you left, the car came by the house to pick her up. I followed him down to the ferry docks. I need not point out that the lake, Joe, is in the opposite direction. Yeah, well, so that doesn't mean anything. Maybe she was... Claire wasn't with a girlfriend, Joe. There was a man driving. A guy she appeared to be, shall we say, very friendly with, if you will. That's your line, Joe. Claire? What the hell's going on here? That was Bolo. He's got Claire. What does he want? Well, it's me. Over here, Scarecrow. Rematch, huh? Same time, same place. But tonight it's gonna end a little different. Where's Claire? Between you and me, Bolo, let her go. I might. What do you think? Take the blindfold off and let her watch while I ventilate you? Maybe I should do her first. You know, make her dance in the spotlight. He's down, Julian. Do something.
How do I explain that perforation when I return the Vesta Metropole? I spent the whole day looking for the restaurant or house. There's no sign. No one's heard a thing. You talked to the bartender? Yeah, Bolo snatched her up when she was leaving work. She can't tell us anything either. Joe, Julian, Metropole found Bolo's body a couple of hours ago outside his apartment. He'd been shot twice through the heart at close range with a small caliber pistol. Bolo was a pro. There were no signs of a struggle. So the assumption is he was murdered by someone he knew. Suspects? None. But forensics did find footprints in the mud by his body. Apparently, the killer was female. I know why you shot him. What I'm saying is it wasn't very smart. You gave me a job, Frederick. I worked and planned for months. I wanted to please you. Then Bolo goes and gets his nose bloodied and goes after my target. You taught us that was not acceptable. I also taught you to make a clean kill. You left an identifiable corpse. You didn't remove the slugs from the body. Damn it, you dropped him on a public street. What were you thinking? What were you thinking at all? What do you mean? You've had more than one opportunity. Why haven't you killed Aster yet? You told me to string him out, to make him trust me first. That takes time. Are you sure there isn't another reason? Are you accusing me? You're playing a part, a role I cast you in. You are pretending to love him. You remember that. You are all I ever wanted. Show me. See him tonight. And finish it. Take a look at this, Julian. I told you Claire's house was deeded to a guy named Kevin Larrabee, right? Mm-hmm. But well, the guy that came to pick her up registered to the same. So who's Kevin Larrabee? When he came up blank, I ran him against Metropole's outfit files. It's an alias, Julian, a name sometimes assumed by the very man you've been trying to nail, Frederick Lang. Oh, my God. Lang, Bolo, the girl, it's all tied together. Where's Joe? his way to meet Claire. I missed you. Where you been? We got marooned out at the lake last night. The rain washed out part of the road. I tried to call you, but the lines were down, too. You leaving town? I want you to come with me. Where? Mexico. Maybe if we go together, everything will come back to you. How am I supposed to remember something that never happened? Don't say that, Michael. Don't try to hurt me like that. Who are you? I'm Claire. I'm your wife. 
Oh, no, I know all about you and Lang. I know you're part of it. No, Michael. I love you. What do you want from me, huh? What's this game about? It's Lang. He wants me to kill you. Oh, kill me? Why? Because of her, because of Claire. Claire doesn't exist. You're wrong. She's real. And you did marry her after she left Lang. What? He was desperately in love with her, but she couldn't take his abuse anymore. She went to Mexico and she met you. And then you dropped her and went back to the States. Lang tried to get her back, but she refused to see him, and then she just disappeared. <sighs> Lang swore he'd kill you after that. It was years ago. Why'd he wait? As long as Michael Payton worked for the outfit, he couldn't touch you. He'd risk losing his contracts. <sighs> as soon as you became Joe Astor, you were fair game. And that's when Lang put his plan into motion. And you were part of his plan? He chose me because I resembled Clara. He had the ring, the photos. She'd left them in the hotel room after you took off. Could have pulled the trigger a half a dozen times since we met. I know. But something happened, something Lang couldn't have seen coming. It had to be perfect. He wasn't sure how much you'd remember. A hundred times a day, we'd go over the story, every detail. Lang taught me to speak like Claire, to move like her. I cut my hair the way she did, wore her clothes. And then I started to think the way she thought and feel what she felt. Whoever Claire really was, I got swallowed up inside her. Right now, I can't even remember my own name. I became someone else just like you did. Do you believe me? I'm certainly convinced. You broke procedure again, my love. It seems between you and Bolo, we've had an epidemic of insubordination. I gave you clear instructions to take him to the quarry or to the Old River docks. I suppose I've trained you too well. Frederick, Shut I... up! I assume he's armed, get his gun. And do be careful about it, my love, or I'll have to drop you with him. I do appreciate the irony here, Peyton. You've taken Claire from me twice now. But it all evens out in the end, you see, because I'm going to kill two men. The one you were and the one you are now. Move away from him. Frederick, no! that along, did you? Yeah, thanks for calling. Metropole raided Lang's office, got all his data files. There was a ranch upstate where he trained his students. They found a dozen kids up there. After some heavy therapy, they'll be reunited with their families. What about Claire? Metropole did a DNA profile. Her real name is Holly Sheridan. She vanished seven years ago. They've got her in the hospital at County Lockup. Doctors say she'll be all right. Mm. Geez, can I tell you something? You make this stuff strong enough to strip paint. You got any half and half? No, sorry. Fresh out. Oh, what the hell is that? Well, you took my advice after all. Actually, I found him in the brush. Stray, I guess. You gonna keep him? For a while. At least till he gets used to being around people. <laughs> then I was gonna give him to your kids. No, 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 no. Good, because, you know, I loathe cats. Especially black ones. No offense, Julian. Very bad mojo, if you know what I mean. Well, but he loves you. Joe, just keep that thing away from me. Come on now. They go right for the hair, Joe. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, that will be. Well, I got some work waiting on me. Right. I'm gonna take a ride out to the prison looking on Holly. 